uh, things were good already at Tesla, but now it seems they are getting better. The stock up 400 percent, more than 400 percent on the year. And it just reported earnings uh, yesterday. And it was a blowout quarter, ladies and gents. It reported a fifth consecutive quarter of profits, beating analyst estimates handedly. Also said it remains on track to deliver that 500,000 vehicle number uh, in 2020. Uh, also want to highlight two third quarter profit, 77, uh, 76 cents a share on an adjusted basis. Also handily topped again, the estimate there, 55 cents a share. So a lot of positives here for Tesla. I want to bring on uh, our next guest to dig through the results of the quarter. That would be Ross Gerber at Gerber Kawasaki CEO. Uh, and Ross, it's good to have you back, my friend. I mean, when we look at the quarter, it's really hard. And I know this is our job to so present the other side here and look at maybe some weaknesses, some things to point out. Really hard to find those here, but what did you yeah. uh, what did you say about the quarter? You, you know, I, I think your point is valid. I mean, a year ago, Tesla had you know the issue of maybe running out of money. You know, they had less than two billion in the bank, and we went up and talked to Elon about you know doing a secondary or, or a convertible offering, which he did the next day. So he had already thinking about that. And now I'm looking on the books, and they've got over fourteen billion in cash, which is greater than their debt level. You know, it's like the best financial position they can totally fund now with the capital they have, all of the investments they're making without having to go back to the markets. And, and the future has never looked so bright for Tesla. So I'm excited because we finally got through that struggle for survival stage. And now we're in the this gets really good stage. Yeah, in regards to that question, I mean, there are a lot of catalysts here. We've been talking about potential inclusion in the S&P 500 for a while here. It seems like one of those questions, uh, since you can't point to the profitability thing, that's been answered, again, five consecutive quarters right. of profits. But when you think about some of those question marks, it could be tied to the emission credits. Of course, Tesla has benefited from that. Uh, revenues or sales from those credits fell to about uh, 400 million down from 428 million before here. So maybe that's a question mark uh, when you think about inclusion in the S&P 500. Talk to me about what that might say uh, about that idea as it remains maybe one of the shaky elements here. Well, I think that's sort of a unfair way to look at a company. Okay, so here's a company that makes an EV that knows that it gets a credit for taking this enormous risk and making a much harder vehicle that's better for the environment, where making a gas car is easy and it's horrible for the environment. So there's a reason why these credits exist. So to infer that that's not part of the business is, is I think, disingenuous. I mean, the bottom line is that that's real cash, that Tesla gets paid because other companies have failed at creating any sort of EV solution when they know they can, they just don't want to invest the money. So it's real money. They're getting paid this money and they're going to get paid this money forever into the future while all these companies can continue to dither with their ICE vehicles, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we know the numbers going down. It went down this quarter and we know that other companies out there are increasing their own EV efforts. We saw that with GM uh, earlier announcing more than $2 billion going into uh, their own manufacturing. They have that effort, Zach, though. Like even still, these companies, it's such a half-assed effort. I, I just, they don't understand. They're going to get wiped out by Tesla if they don't go all in on EVs. Now, other companies are doing it. Rivian, Lucid, they're making nice vehicles. They're all in on EVs, and they'll be successful. But the GMs and the Fords, if they, they are out of time. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that too, though, because we did get the update. Of course, uh, GM didn't reveal how much in terms of vehicle production or the actual numbers here. But when we talk about the GM, uh, the EV Hummer, it's catching a lot of eyes here. I mean, the price tag is going to be north of 100000 in the first yeah. run here. But saying that they they sold out in, in reservations within an hour, so maybe there's some strength, there's some truth to the idea that, you know, there's there's some sort of demand there uh, on that front. But you say it's, it's too late. Why? Listen, the demand for EV cars is off the charts. If, if these companies understood... Like, just build EVs. People want them. Look at the Taycan. Not even a great car. The number one selling Porsche. But they're not, they're not even all in. I'm like, Porsche, dude, make a Cayenne. Like, what are you doing, right? Like, it's just, like, it's, it's crazy to me, right? So, like, the same thing with the Hummer. So, how many Hummers can they make in 2022? My guess is less than 10,000. So, this is a non-event. To say you've sold out a few trucks is a non-event, and the, nobody's going to buy a hundred and twenty thousand dollar truck when they can buy the same ICE truck for fifty grand. And so, 
what GM is doing is trying to sell more ICE cars by making the EV so expensive that nobody's going to buy it. So it, ha- it sells more ICE cars with higher margins. This is exactly what Volkswagen's done. It's exactly what Audi has done. They make crappy EVs so people buy the ICE cars instead. And they say, oh, you know, well, we have an EV. Tesla's winning. They're just going to win big. As I mean, long the, as the, the, the numbers they reported so far uh, do continue to show that momentum growing here. We'll see what, uh, what GM's able to do. Everybody wants an EV. They're better cars and they're cheaper to operate. And that's irrelevant of full self-driving. And it, when trucks come out in two years, boy, that's going to be a whole nother industry to watch out for that Tesla's going to just blow up. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are. 